season 10, top 10, let's go! So right off the bat, they started off the night with an amazing group dance, choreographed by Christopher Scott. It was with Rocking and Chairs, it was so good. This was so good, I loved it so much. I mean, how do you get all those rocking chairs in sync? It was so fantastic. I love Christopher Scott's group routine. I can go on about how much I love this. Um, everything about it just kept on going on, and I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought it was perfect, spot on. Everyone was great. It was just fantastic. Amazing way to start the show. Anyways, so, whew, favorite. I loved it. I haven't been so excited about a group routine in so long. Um, Debbie Allen is the guest judge alongside Nigel and Mary. Um, it's your top ten. Bottom two girls were Mackenzie and Jenna. Bottom two guys, Tucker immediately got put in the bottom, and Nico was in the bottom. And no solos, because they want to see all the performances. The judges' disclaimer stand for, like, everything. They stand up for, like, 8 out of 10 routines. It really loses its, like, special quality if you stand up for every routine, judges. Just so you know. Just so you know. First up was Amy and Brandon. Season 5, Brandon. I loved Brandon. Um... They dance to disco. He's the king of disco. I was so excited when I saw this before the commercial break. I'm like, yes! I love disco. I love Brandon. I love Amy. The recipe for an amazing routine. And I really liked it. It felt a little bit short of my expectations. At first, I really didn't feel Amy was super comfortable with the disco at the beginning. But uh, eventually, I mean, this the disco is kind of like a stunt dance. It's like crazy lifts, crazy tricks in it. Um, Obviously, some stuff I've never seen before. It, it was great. It was full of energy, fun, like a disco should be. Um, so, yeah, I really like the routine. Aaron in season six, Catherine were next, and they danced a uh, contemporary piece choreographed by Stacey Tukey. Um, yeah, the judges really loved it, as they loved pretty much everything. I liked it. I didn't love it like they did. I wouldn't have given it a standing ovation. I didn't believe the chemistry at the beginning, but I did like it at the end. Um, I believed it a lot more at the end. Uh, the, the concept was about, like, the love someone has for one another or something like that. Like, something very typical of a contemporary piece. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna seem heartless. I'm, oh, I always seem heartless in all these. But, I mean, I just didn't love it like they did. I wanted to love it like they did. Um, I really like Aaron as a dancer, though. He's probably, I think, my favorite right after Amy. Um, but the, the piece in general was just, like, a contemporary piece, you know? Fiction and Melanie were next, and they danced a jazz piece choreographed by Manny Moore. And I liked the piece, I really did. Um, it just felt a little off watching Fiction beside Melanie. And Melanie was great, hard to take your eyes off her. Um, but Fiction felt really young uh, in comparison to Melanie in this piece. It just looked off, um, and I didn't want to hold that against him. I mean, if I, if I kind of wish I saw Aaron do this piece over fiction because I felt like that might have made a little bit more sense because um, it really felt off like it didn't make sense for these two people to be dancing this dance it just I didn't believe it really um, but the dancing itself was good really happy to see Melanie back Paul and Whitney were next and they danced a cha-cha piece choreographed by Jean-Marc Genereau uh, I mean at first it felt like I was watching professionals I mean she she is a professional now she's on Dancing with the Stars Paul can be or most likely will be a professional. Um, but then, I mean, they lost their grip, and, and I couldn't believe it, because I was like, what? Did that actually happen? That never really happened. Um, and it was obvious. And the judges still gave them a standing ovation. I was like, what? Standing ovations, like, used to mean something. I mean, I know you can't really hold that against them, but I made an obvious mistake. You still gave them a standing ovation. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, it, I felt like it's lost stamina towards the end, really. Um, and I wanted to like it like they liked it, but, I mean, it was good. I feel like I'm being really hard. Um, yeah, it just wasn't outstanding. Haley and Twitch were next, and they danced a hip-hop piece choreographed by Christopher Scott. Definitely not as good as his opening group number. Um, his, his group numbers are always so good, and his just, his regular partner pieces are never as good but, and it just seems funny kind of to see Haley uh, as a teacher and Twitch as a student just because he looks so much older than her, so it looked a little odd. Uh, 
but I, I went with it. Um, Haley uh, kind of impressed me. I didn't think that she would do as well. Um, I still think the piece fell short uh, in comparison to all the others tonight, but I mean, and people love her. She's never been in the bottom, so uh, I don't really know why. I really feel like she might be the weakest of all the girls, but America seems to love her, and uh, they might love this routine too. I don't know. I didn't really love it. Jenna and Neil were next in the dance, a contemporary piece choreographed by Mandy Moore. And I like this one. I think I like this one more than the previous contemporary piece with Aaron and Catherine. I really liked... I didn't really like it. I liked this piece. I thought the, the, the end when she, like, sorry, he rolled into her and she kind of walked away. I liked that. I thought it was believable. Uh, and Jenna... Jenna's getting a hard, hard time with uh, America. I guess people don't really like her. I personally like her. I think she's good. Um, I think she might come across as a little bit overconfident when she performs, so that doesn't translate well with the audience. I think they might think she thinks. I think she might think she thinks uh, she's amazing, but I really don't think that she thinks that. But uh, anyways, I might be completely overanalyzing, but. Vote for Jenna, guys. I like Jenna. She's alright. Jasmine and Marco were next as they danced. Uh, jazz piece choreographed by Ray Leeper. Uh, probably one of my favorite Ray Leeper routines. It was to Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines. First time I've actually heard that song. It goes to show how much I listen to the radio. Never. Um, so, yeah. I liked it. I thought they were together. I thought this was really fun. It was quirky. It was sleek. It was sassy. It was just like... It was nice. I liked it. It was different. Um, and I like different. Obviously, everything after 10 seasons starts to eventually blend together, lose the same, and loses that unique quality. And this one, I mean, I like this piece. Kind of reminded me of the hip-hop piece that Tucker and Jenna did earlier this season that was kind of like to Michael Jackson. Um, but I like that that sleek movement that, that they do. So, it's just personal. My preference. I like this one. Did you? Comment. Mackenzie and Jacob were next, and they dance a uh, Spencer Lift Broadway piece. It was great. It had uh, musicality. They were together. They were really in sync. Um, their technique is flawless, Jacob especially. And um, the judges loved it. The judges really liked the majority of the pieces. Uh, and, I mean, I didn't love this piece either, and I don't know if I'm not, I'm thinking to myself, am I like, am I missing something? These three people are on the panel of judges, and I'm like, kind of like, I mean, I like it, but it's not gonna, I'm not gonna remember this one in a couple years. I really am not, you know? And I love Saving and Dance, and I remember a whole lot of routines, and this one is not gonna be on the list. So, <laughs> I'm just being honest, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm not going to overpraise it like they do. Nico and Comfort went next. They danced hip-hop choreographed by Napoleon and Tabitha. They were reptiles, kind of like in a jungle. I loved it. I thought it was different. Nigel was like, I don't really love it. I'm like, Nigel, me and you are not on the same page today. Because the one that he didn't stand up for was the one that I thought was worthy of a standing ovation. They did great. Nico totally got the character. Um, the song, it was just a different piece. And I like that it was different. I didn't understand why they didn't love it as much as I did. I was like, what? Also, the cameraman running through, or I don't know who messed up there, that totally kind of took me out of the dance. I should call a crew camera guy, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, I really like this one. Let me know if you agree with me. Am I just like off today? I don't know. Finally, Tucker and Robert went next and they danced a uh, contemporary piece choreographed by Travis Wall. And it was about brothers um, and near-death experiences. It was emotional. It was definitely the most believable piece out of all of them tonight. But I didn't know Robert had a near-death experience. It sounds like he like got had an extreme fall. Uh, I'll research it later. I don't really know. And it sounds like maybe Danny, Travis's brother, who was on season three, who came in second to Sabra, might be going through, through something, so I'm gonna research it. It's so funny too, because I, me and my mom were watching it together, and we were like, remember Danny? Wouldn't it be awesome to have Danny on the show again? And now it sounds like something might have happened, so I'm totally gonna research this. Um, the piece in general, Tucker did amazing. 
Uh, it was just really, really believable, really raw. It was just real. And, and that's what I like. I mean, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so I really liked it. I hope you guys really liked it. And I gotta research. Finally, the votes are in. For the boys, uh, it was a unanimous decision between 15 people. Um, for the girls, it was a 9-6 to six vote. And um, Mackenzie and Nico are leaving. Um, I kind of saw Nico leaving. Tucker really deserved his spot. But I really liked Nico's piece. Um, Mackenzie versus Jenna. Really, I didn't know who they let go. Honest, honestly, I don't know how Haley moves forward all the time. Uh, I think she's probably the weakest girl. Uh, but for whatever reason, she has tons of fans. She's never been in the bottom. Um, so let me know if you're voting for Haley, why you, why you love her so much. She seems like a, a nice person. Other than that, I mean, I don't think she's as good as the other girls. Um, let me know if you agree. So that is it, guys. Uh, that's it for this review. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't. If you like so you can dance, comment below. See you guys next week. Peace.